In this video, I am going to demonstrate related content event mapping feature. This feature is delivered with People Tools 8.55. The idea is to maintain custom code independently without modifying the delivered code. It will save tremendous of amount of time because retrofitting is not required after upgrades like tools patches. Let's begin. Let's pick a requirement. Do it in the old way. And next we will fix the same issue using related content event mapping. Sounds good? Let's get started. Assume we have a new requirement in customer contract general information page. Let me open the page first. The requirement is contract sign date should not be greater than the current date. Error should be thrown in this case and user should not be allowed to save the component. Let's fix it in the old way. I will open component record save edit people code and write the validation as shown. Fix will be something like this. We will modify the delivered code at this specific location. Let's check if it is working. Perfect. As you can see, error is thrown in this case. The problem with, the, with this code is whenever an upgrade happens, you need to retrofit the code manually. Let's fix the same issue using related content event mapping configuration. First, I will comment my code. I will outline the steps on the slide so that you get to know what I am doing. Let's begin with it. Step number one. I have already created new application package and new application class called date editor. First we need to import related content framework delivered by Oracle. Then our date editor class should implement this delivered app app class which is service interface actual logic validation logic should be written in the execute method this method is mandatory method that we need to implement for related content service interface as you can see i have implemented the validation logic in the execute method we are done with the first step let's move on to the next step in step number two i am going to define new related content service and specify the app class app package i have created in this configuration just follow the tutorial In the last step, I will navigate to manage related content service. Click on event mapping tab. Here you are going to navigate to our customer contract content reference. I will specify here where our logic should trigger and when it should trigger. Please follow as shown in screen. Here you will specify whether our logic should trigger 
after delivered save edit event or before map it to, a, to the new service we created. Save it, we are done with the configuration. Let's test it one last time. Bingo, it is working. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Thank you.